How can you tell if you're a medium? By Steve Bradshaw. Throughout my 30 odd years of being a medium, and now I do mostly channeling, um, I have found that um, everybody's a medium. Yeah, I know, they tell you it's some great gift, and you know you have to train for 30 years to be a medium. But thankfully through spirit, I've been able to learn that everybody's a medium. If you get intuition and gut feelings, that's the spirit world trying to message you and develop you. If you get rings in your ears, if you feel drawn to somebody, if you walk into a place and you feel the, the energy of the place isn't right, then you're picking up on what it is to be a medium. Medium is just middle person. You could be sitting and having a conversation and suddenly you, you say something that you don't understand why you've said it or um, you've reassured somebody or you've supported somebody or you, you're feeling ill at the time and you, you know that is what we call an empath. You're actually feeling somebody else's energy. And since they were all connected then we can also tap into this energy that's part of everything. And so sometimes I used to have to phone up all my friends and family to find out which one was ill, who was not feeling so good because I wasn't feeling so good. So when you start to understand that the mediumship is supposedly just like the middle person, but really everybody, you could have been a medium in a past life. And in this life, you'll tend to find that you'll develop, you'll get those ringing in your ears. People are saying, why are they ringing in your ears? That's because they're just trying to get the frequency right so you can start to hear them. Um, so really, we're all mediums. And it's only those that tap into it. Now you could use your mediumship or you can use your connection through doing writing, um, through singing, um, through teaching, through, through anything you do. I have found that mechanics, I've found that people that worked in care are very much connected. And so it, it doesn't take long at all to uh, open themselves to the world of spirit. Now, spirit is just one of your loved ones or somebody's loved ones that's trying to clear their emotional baggage their emotional connection which stops the flow in life when you've cleared out your connection to spirit um, when you're feeling a lot of pain towards your body can reject messages and so learning to get that connection or meditating will help you to clear the lines that makes it easier to communicate and when you build up your own energy, you'll find that you're able to, to actually connect easier. I mean, the veil is really coming down now. And so what I put out and what the information I put out comes back a lot quicker. But also with mediumship, just a conversation with people. I suddenly say something or that will relate to a family member. Or I'll hear a song in my head. Um, and certain words in that will, will mean a lot to me or to the person that I'm with at the time. So I see mediumship now as more as the channeling part. I love the channeling part. That gives me more insight. And when you get a, a clearer connection, you can get some marvellous, insightful stuff. And that's what I love to share. So everybody, just go with your instincts. Go with your gut feelings. Know that there'll be signs. You'll get something on your body, maybe a like a, a tingle or something when spirit are around. Or you maybe be able to see spirit. Some can. My sister was very good at, at seeing spirit at a young age, whereas I was more the feeling of the spirit around. So find out what tools that you work with and then open all your tools. Use all your senses and you'll start to see things, uh, highlighted things around the room, you may be with smells, um, you just feel or you just have a knowing that spirit are there. These are all part of the connection and understanding that really basically once we tap into that energy that's part of everything, then we can communicate with anybody. And there's even, sometimes I've even had um, family members come through, they're in comas or they're asleep. It's quite strange when... Uh, I've done some of the paranormal work and you find that uh, somebody comes on the glass and, and information comes through and they're not even dead. They're actually just asleep at the time. So it just shows that we all tap into that energy that's part of everything. So mediumship is really just being the middle person. 
The gift is the message. I hope this helps.